solve for x, we have 2.5 times the quantity of x minus 4 plus 9.5 equals 19.5. So since there are a lot of decimals here, I'm going to use the calculator to help as we go through this process. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 9.5 from both sides. So we're going to have 2.5 times the quantity of x minus 4 and then equals, and we have 9.5 minus 9.5 which is 0, and then we have 19.5 minus 9.5 which is actually 10.0. Then to continue to solve for x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2.5. And I can actually do this 10.0 divided by 2.5 in my head, but I'm going to use calculator 2 to show you how that works. So I think it's 4, and let's see if I know. So 10.0 divided by 2.5. Yep, 4. So these 2.5s reduce because it makes 1. Then we have x minus 4 equals 10.0 divided by 2.5, which is 4. Add 4 to both sides. And then we get x, and then minus 4 plus 4 makes 0, equals 4 plus 4, which is 8. So x equals 8. Now let's use a calculator to check the answer. So I'm going to enter it just like it's written here, except I'm going to put an 8 instead of an x. So 2.5, open parentheses, 8 minus 4, plus 9.5. And if this is correct, we should get a 19.5 for an answer. 19.5, good to go. So we know x equals 8 is the answer. And notice that even though there were decimals in the equation, it's the same process. You want to get the x by itself, so you subtract, you divide. I could have also distributed the 2.5 to the x and the negative 4, but I didn't do that. I decided to subtract and then divide. And, you know, you can use whichever process you want to as you're working through here. And that's the interesting thing about math is that sometimes there are several correct techniques to find the same result.